Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. So today we're gonna to be doing a fall look and I'm super, super excited. Sorry I didn't really record an intro. That is one of my new tattoos that I got while I was in Toronto. It's my mom's name in her writing and I love it. <laughs> I got another one on my sternum as well. But um, if you see me looking to the side, it's cause I'm watching TV while I'm doing this, which I probably shouldn't have, but I did anyway. So I'm going to start off with my primer, which is what I usually do. It is my Nivea Men's Aftershave Balm, and I'm just going to rub that into my skin. Then I'm going to be taking some of my Fix Plus Spray just to give me some instant hydration. And then I'm going to take another silicone-based primer and just use that to further kind of matte out the skin and give it a nice texture before we put on the foundation. And it also helps to better my skin um, in the long run as well because it helps to control my blemishes and acne. So for my foundation, I'm going to be taking the new MAC Studio Water Weight Foundation and I'm just going to be applying that with a foundation brush. And this is kind of a new technique that I've been liking lately because um, it deposits all of the product and it's not like any of my other just like regular face brushes where it's gonna kind of absorb some of it so I like to put it on with this foundation brush and then blend it in with my beauty blender so it looks like my skin and it's not just painted on and this is just yeah been really working for me I look at your name I'm suddenly high for you to feel the same I would do almost anything I give away this Next, I'm going to be taking some of my concealer, and it is a very yellow toned base concealer to kind of neutralize out any of my bluish undertones. And I'm going to be pretty heavy handed with it um, because I was just feeling like, I mean, I love this foundation, but it's not super full coverage like I like it to be. So I'm kind of using the concealer as some extra coverage where I need it. Coming out, coming over. And you know what, I'm going to be taking my beauty blender and blending it all out. So just to give you guys a little update, um, I guess while I'm blending out my concealer, I had an amazing time in Toronto. I did not expect to get two tattoos, I'll tell you that much, but it was just kind of the convenience. I knew a guy who knew a guy and I got some really good rates and I just was feeling, you know, kind of risque. And uh, yeah, it was an awesome time and I love my tattoos. And uh, yeah, I wouldn't have asked for anything different. It was lots of fun. But anyway, let's get on with the tutorial. So now as you can see, I'm just doing my usual. I am just pressing on some powder where I put on that concealer to ensure that it does not crease throughout the day. I think this is absolutely essential whether you're in cold weather, warm weather, any weather, any climate. It is so important to put powder underneath the eyes and just everywhere, but especially underneath the eyes, I feel. Um, usually I like to bake on powder, but I recently ran out of all of my loose translucent powders or any of my light colored ones, so I'm just waiting on um, one to come in the mail and I'll be baking away again. So here, as you can see, I'm going to be doing my brows, which you guys have seen like I feel a bajillion times, and I'm just going to take some wax and then a pencil and fill these babies in. So I am going to fast forward it slightly because I just feel like this is so repetitive. Like I really haven't changed my brow game in a while because this has just really been working for me. So we are going to skip meow. And I think my brows just took like way too long today or something so it's a little sassy. <laughs> so I'm just going to take some brow glue and make sure that they stay where they're supposed to all day. They came out like real fucking furious. <laughs> like they're a little bushy but I think that's maybe the look I was going for. Yeah. And as you can see here I am just shaping them a little bit. This is what I usually do. And this just kind of helps me like clean up the brow as well if there's any just mistakes or I just want to crispen up my brow. By the way, I do have a outright, ugh, an eyebrow tutorial. So if you'd like to go check that out, I will link it down below so you can see how these brows get made. Because there's lots that goes into it. Lots. So now I'm just going to be taking my soft ochre paint pot. This is what I actually use to crispen up the brows, but I just took a different brush now and I'm just putting it all over the lid to prep my lids for eyeshadow. So now I'm just going to be taking a very light matte shade and just basically setting my cream 
base that I put on, which is that soft sugar paint pot. This is what I always do. It's what I've always done. Um, keeps the cream from creasing and ensures that any eyeshadows that I put over top of it are not going to get stuck in any creases and it's just gonna go on very smoothly. So here I'm putting on Saddle by MAC. This is my absolute favorite shade from MAC Cosmetic. It's like the easiest and best shade that goes with every single skin type, I feel. Um, and then I also love Soft Brown, which is another really, really soft brown color. <laughs> it's exactly how the name pertains it to be. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna be sweeping that over top on my lids in window washer motions uh, just to basically use as transition for any darker or more pigmented eyeshadows that we're going to be putting on the lid. So as you can see here I am putting a little bit of a darker brown but still warm shade on the lid and I'm using my MAC 224 blending brush. This is my absolute number one favorite blending brush in the entire universe. Seriously guys, it's amazing. And still using my 224, I'm going to be blending an even warmer shade into the crease as a transition. I love layering warm brown shades on top of each other because I feel like it just makes the blending process so much easier on me and it kind of makes the eyes look even more rich. So now I'm going to be taking a even more dense kind of brush, which is exactly the opposite from the 224, and I'm going to be packing on this beautiful kind of cranberry, like very deep kind of purpley fall color. I guess that's it. <laughs> really? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're totally going to blend it into our crease with a nice fluffy brush and my go-to is totally the MAC 217 brush. This is thebomb.com. So don't worry about if it looks messy when packing it onto the lid because you're just going to take a beautiful fluffy brush like the 217 and just work it into your crease and that brush will do the work for you. So even though it looks messy right now, don't worry about it honey. You don't stress because it's going to be all nicely blended in at the end of the day. Okay. Just per usual, I'm going to go back to my 224 brush and just make sure that everything is well blended in. I think I did take um, that really warm brown shade again just to really make sure that everything is transitioned and it's nice and blended. But I like to do that sometimes after I go in with a darker shade. And here, as you can see, I'm just going to be taking this kind of champagne colored eyeshadow and just placing it just in the middle of my lid just to create that kind of spotlight effect, that halo effect on the eye. I feel like it's really in for fall right now and I think it's absolutely beautiful. It just adds such a pop of color to the eye. It's absolutely beautiful. And now I'm just going to be taking a blending brush that has absolutely no product on it. I have not used it previously in the tutorial just to make sure that everything is well blended. Like I said, I'm a total OCD freak about blending, but look how good it looks. And here I'm just taking my Posh Pedigree MAC Mineralized Eyeshadow and I'm taking the lightest shade in the palette and using it as a brow bone highlight. And here I just put on some white eyeliner in my waterline and now I'm pretty much doing what I did on the uh, top of my lid. I'm just putting on the lower lash line. So I took that really dark cranberry shade and then I took that really warm brown and now I'm taking that halo shade that we put in the middle of our lid in the middle of my lower lash line to kind of mimic the top lid and I used a pencil brush for that. Now I'm going to be coating my lashes with some mascara and I'm using the new MAC Upward Lash. It has really changed my life. That little brush, I swear to you, it does wonders. It is amazing. It gives such great volume. The only thing I will say is that it is a wet mascara so make sure that you take the time to really dry it and you're not doing anything crazy while you're putting it on because it will smudge. And now I'm going to do my favorite thing in the entire universe and that is contouring. So I'm going to be taking some contour shades and just very definingly contouring my face. I want this to be a pretty intense contour. Um, nothing too crazy but still like noticeable <laughs> obviously because I'm using my Ida brush from NARS so you're going to get that really crisp contour. And as you can see here I just took a little bit of a fluffier brush not as dense as the Ida and just blending everything in and this is what I use to put on my contour on my forehead and my jaw. And now I'm just taking this very warm contour shade almost like to the point where it's like orangey and this is I'm going to use this as a base for any blush that I put on so it's going to help it look a little bit more vibrant and yes I saw this on the Kylie Jenner app it is 
so bomb. I actually love watching how her makeup artist does her makeup. It's given me so many ideas, you guys. Ugh. I love Kylie. And now I'm just gonna be using my highlighter that is my love right now. And I'm just gonna be placing it on my cheekbones, my nose, my cupid's go, my cupid's go, my cupid's bow, and my forehead and my chin. And pretty much everywhere because I literally just live off of highlighter. Good sign, Brooke. <laughs> I'm using the MAC Prep and Prime Lip Primer, and this I literally cannot live without anymore. As soon as I got it, it has changed my lip game, you guys. All of my lip liners, lipsticks go on 10 times smoother, last 10 times longer. I love the MAC Lip Primer. And here I'm going to be using my Try It and True MAC Soar Liner. My favorite thing to do with lip liner is completely fill my lip because I feel like if I just put it on uh, the outsides, when my lipstick eventually does kind of fade throughout the day, you'll really tend to see those outside lip liner marks. So I just like to completely fill it in and then it blends really well with my lipstick and also helps my lipstick to stay on way longer. And then for the lipstick that pretty much I feel like embodies fall, it is Whirl Lipstick. And I think everyone is just obsessed with this color and it is absolutely beautiful. And then I'm gonna finish things off with the Vamplify Limited Edition Lip Gloss by MAC in Hyper Fabulous, just to add some gloss and some more brownie undertones to my lip look. Then we're gonna take our trusty Fix Plus and make sure that all of our makeup is nicely set and hydrated and dewy and beautiful. And now we are done, guys. Thank you so much for watching again. And make sure that you drink as many pumpkin spice lattes and wear as many scarves and layers as you can this fall season. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day, guys. Bye.